Greetings everyone, so today I want to cover two new features that's been added to the Amazon Voice Assistant app. Okay, so let's dive right onto the app and we're going to go into more. More is where you're going to find the two new features that I'm talking about. And it's going to be on the routine. So you want to go to routine and then you want to click the plus sign. Now, of course, you know, you can name it anything, but I'm not going to build a routine. I'm just going to cover these two additional things that's been added to routine. So one is going to be on the when this happened and the other one is going to be on the action. So let's go to when this happened first. And when you scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see sound detection and it's in a beta. So that means it probably is going to not work too perfectly because beta means that it's still in testing mode. But then again, you might not have any issues at all, but just in case you have any, just remember it's a beta mode. So let's go into sound detection. In sound detection, you can detect four different sounds. So you got dog barking, you got baby crying, snoring, and cough. So either one of those you can choose from. Now that means if you choose a routine that's gonna say when this happened, then you can tie in something else to it. Like if the dog bark, you probably can have music play, lights come on, or whatever the case may be. If you have baby crying, you might want to let your voice assistant because you can assign it to a particular device. So you can know that the baby is crying. Yes, I know you can probably hear the baby crying by using a monitor, but this is another additional way you can use it too. Or you can have some lullaby played on the echo device that's in the baby room to calm the baby down while you head in there to check to see what's going on. Now there's one to detect snoring. So I'm pretty sure you probably can come up with some creative way of using that sound detection to probably wake somebody up by playing a little noise or something like that to make them shift to another position so they can stop snoring. And last but not least, they got cough. So I guess whatever creative way you can use cough for, you can come up with some ideas, maybe to alert you if the kids are coughing, maybe to give them some medicine or something like that. I don't know. You can probably think of something. Now, all of these sound detection, you can set them up for a specific time. So let's go into one, for instance. Now, let's choose a device. I'm not going to use it right now. Now, when you go into it, as you can see, you got weekdays. So you can go in here and change it. So you can choose a specific day or you can just choose weekdays like I have right now, Monday to Friday, or you can choose the entire week. And then you can set up a time frame so you can go between morning to a.m. or whatever time you want to set up. And you can also choose a suppression time. That means it's going to suppress the time before it activates the routine again. So that means every 15 minutes, but you can change that. You can go all the way down to five minutes and all the way up to 59 minutes. And if you go back, you can set it by hours. So you got zero hours to 12 hours. And then, you know, the last thing at the bottom is reset. So let's cancel out of that and go back. So all of these sound detections are going to work the same way. So you can set them up for a specific day or time, and you can suppress them from being reactivated between a certain time frame. Okay, so the next one I want to cover is going to be on the action. So the first one is on the when this happened, and that's sound detection. Now we're going to go to action and that's why I'm going to show you the other one. So if you stroll on down to where you see style. Now with style, you can come up with some creative ways. I've added style to my wake up routine. So what that's going to do is going to let her tell you what's the best outfit to wear for that day. And she's going to base that on the weather condition. So if it's raining, sunny, cold or whatever, she's going to give you a suggestion of what to wear to work that day or if you're just going out at a certain time of the day you know it might be midday it might be evening it might be night she's going to give you a suggestion so that's one routine you can add to your morning wake up or any other time of the day now the style action can be used without actually putting in a routine you can actually ask her what's a good thing to wear today and she's going to base it on the weather and the condition of the day to give you some suggestion of some things to wear to work or going out or wherever you're going out for that day. So you can give that a try without actually putting it in a routine. But if you want it to be part of your daily routine when you wake up, then you can just add it to that wake up routine that you already have set up. And if you don't have one set up, I did a routine of how to set up a 
wake up in style routine on my channel so you can check that out so if you want some suggestion of what to wear before you head out the door add this action to your routine okay so one more thing before i end this video i just want to let you know if you have a morning wake up routine don't forget to add the traffic to your routine especially if you gotta head out in traffic and you want to know what it's like Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to cover those two things that I noticed that's been added to the Amazon Voice Assistant app. And you can try to use them for some routine to make your life a little bit easier because I like to make routines to make my life easy. So I wanted to point these out to you in case you haven't noticed them yet. I'm going to probably play around with a couple of these new routines to see how I can fit them into a routine that's going to help me in my life. And if some of those routines come out to where it's beneficial, I will share them with you. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.